the problem with putting a cutter in a Clarkson collet chuck. So, I've screwed the cutter into the collet, but not all the way in. This is supposed to be, well not tight up against here, but just finger tight, that's there. Now you turn the cutter, screw the cutter into the collet. It's a bit awkward because you're, you're holding the, the cutting edges of the cutter with your fingers. Not great. But then you take your spanner and just give that a, a little knot. And that is it. You've got that tight against the body and the cutter is up against the center inside the chuck and if it slips it will just self tighten that's all you need to do but it's the idea is that you keep this tight against here keeps everything rigid and changing the cutter loosen that I'm going from a 10 to a quarter inch actually. So this is a metric collet, it's got a groove around it. And this is an imperial one, plain, a quarter of an inch. And that's probably screwed in too much already, let's wind that out a smidge. Yeah we should really make sure that that's clean. That's clean. Wind the cutter in. A little tap. And that's done. Actually, sometimes when these things wear out, they didn't quite work out, so that's now easily undone. So, what a lot of people do... It's, it's kind of wrong according to the book, but because these are old and worn, you sometimes have to do it. Wind that back a little bit. Wind your cutter in. little tap on the spanner and that is now properly tight. Um, again this is up against there so it's all solid and rigid. Where we go. But what you don't want to have is a gap here. So you know you don't the temptation is to wind the cutter in until that's flush. And that's wrong. It needs to be below that. And if you do that, put that there, put that in there, this bottom nut will not get to the top before it's tight. So you're lacking the rigidity. And I don't know if you run the risk of uh, cracking the end of the cutter. Don't know, maybe not, but um, not the right way to do it. 